Climeworks essentially does only one thing, and that is we, we filter CO2 out of ambient air. We have the largest direct air capture plant in the world in, in Iceland, Orca, which we launched last September. Orca is the biggest plant in the world right now. On average, we think we need to remove seven and a half gigatons, so seven and a half billion tons of CO2 per year, every year. To put that into perspective, we emit about 40 billion tons per year globally. So the, the idea is to get to gigaton scale in, in and around 2050 with direct air capture, not Climeworks, but as, a, as, a, as an industry. So uh, a lot of growing to do. My name is Christoph Beutler. I'm head of climate policy at Climeworks and we are in our headquarter in Zurich. In Zurich. Yeah, that's correct. I joined Climeworks four years ago um, and I think we were around 40 people back then. We're now 200. We're on the verge of society understanding that in order to make, make it, to, to make Paris to, to uh, achieve our climate goals globally, we need to reduce emissions, but we also need to take CO2 out of the air. It is crucial to realize that we have all the technologies to be able to just make it if we put the, the foot down hard. The difference between taking CO2 from a fossil exhaust and taking it out of the atmosphere. That's super crucial to understand. If you take CO2 from a, from a fossil point source emission uh, and you, you, you store it underground, you're not, you're not cleaning the atmosphere. You're not creating what we call a carbon dioxide removal or a negative emission. You're avoiding a foss an additional fossil molecule to go into the atmosphere. It's needed, but we already know in addition to that, we need to take it out of the atmosphere. Climeworks started basically with uh, Jan and, and Christoph, our founders, meeting on the first day of university in, in Zurich, um, at, at the ETH Zurich, um, and deciding on the first day that they want to have a company and they want to have it together. And a little later, they, they, they went skiing together and they realized that you know, the snow isn't as good as it used to be and they thought, okay, we could do something about this. And, and that's basically how the idea around Climeworks formed and then they did their, their studies and their PhD on the technology and uh, it became a spin-off of ETH Zurich in 2009 to convince people that this is possible. I think that was the main hurdle. And, and I think on a technology level, obviously, it was to go from a lab scale to, to, to now having the largest direct air capture plant in the world, um, which is still a drop in the ocean of, of, of what's needed. So that's the struggle we're in now, is to, to make this climate relevant. You know, the, the question we get asked the most is, why don't you just plant trees? What we bring to the table with, with direct air capture is, is efficiency in space. Direct air capture is, is several orders of magnitude smaller than planting trees, and we don't have enough space on the planet to solve the problem with trees. And the other thing is um, the storage we do is, is we mineralize underground, so it's permanent. The, the biggest challenge is to find the, the sink, the storage, right? And Iceland has a company called Carpfix, and they have developed this, this methodology where we can mineralize CO2 underground. So we basically pump water and CO2, so basically fizzy water down, and it, the, the CO2 mineralizes, so we turn it into stone. So it's, it's a very safe form of storage. Second one is energy. So as I said before, we need um, mainly heat and, and also electricity to run the operations. And geothermal delivers both. So we have the ideal combination of, you know, heat, renewable electricity, and the storage right there. From a policy perspective, we need to build policies that incentivize emissions reductions, uh, but also we need to build policies and they need to kick in now that scale up carbon removal. Otherwise, we don't get to the volumes we know we need. 
we have to defossilize society, right? Um, there's a lot of talk about decarbonizing, um, but we literally have to defossilize. We have to build more technology because we have a plan of, of 8 billion and soon 10 billion, and you cannot run that with, without technology. So we have now to build more to get us out of the ground and into the sky. So our energy, and but also our, our CO2 as a resource for products has to come from, from, the, from the sky now. So I think this is the biggest challenge humanity has ever faced and it will stay with us for, for decades. And that will be my advice. Think, think about that. And, and then it's just a matter of switching from the next, we were thinking about the next four, uh, quarter to, 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 to long-term thinking.